Hey guys, I'm Chenny and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I wanted to kind of do a new series on the channel. And this is something that I've always wanted to do, but I just never had the time to kind of execute it. I've always wanted to consistently do bag reviews for you guys and show you guys kind of like the latest bags or different kinds of bags that are out there in the market. But unfortunately, you know, I'm not gonna go out there and buy all the bags that are available because I do have a limited budget every year for shopping. So I've actually Actually talk to my friend who owns a secondhand consignment store in Toronto I think I mentioned this before I have a friend who owns a consignment store and I've asked them if I can partner up with them to kind of like borrow bags from them uh, use it for around seven days to test it out and then give you guys kind of like a first impression as well as a review on the bag at the same time if you guys are interested in the bags that I am showing they are secondhand and you guys can go into their store in Toronto right at Kennedy and Steele's so that's where their store is I'll leave all the info down below I'll leave their Instagram as well as their store address down below so you guys can check it out or message them on Instagram if you guys are interested in the bags for today's video we are going to be looking at the Louis Vuitton Petite Bois Chapeau bag I'm probably butchering the name but this is basically the hat box bag and they have like a giant hat box but this is the smaller version and then they also have a miniature version which is tiny and they also have a soft uh, soft canvas version of this bag this bag is a round bag but at the bottom it is a flat surface so this is easier for placing imagine if this entire bag was a circle like it would just roll around which does not work at the bottom there are also four feet for helping your bag stand and this particular one is the classic um, like mini LV logo with the nude all around it's got the leather on the side as well as leather handles and a leather strap it also has the leather ID card. I know not many people are probably going to use this, but this is a nice accent for the bag. Now, this particular bag is actually quite expensive. This is around 5,400 or 5,600 Canadian before taxes. They also have a softer version that's around 2,300 or 400 Canadian before taxes. Now, why this particular one is more expensive is because it is crafted using their traditional luggage style. So this is considered one of Alvi's trunks or luggage which is what they were traditionally famous for their luggage used to float on water so this particular bag comes with a top handle strap with the strap you can hand hold it or put it around your wrist there's actually three holes on here so this handheld strap is adjustable the bag also comes with a longer shoulder strap you can either use it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag this strap is also adjustable so you don't really have to worry about height situations because you can adjust the strap according to your own height and according to your own comfort level when I was testing out this bag for the seven days I actually liked the bag being a handheld bag or just have it around my wrist I think it looked more feminine and it looked more classic and it just did this bag justice now when I did want my hands to be free I prefer to have it as a crossbody instead of a shoulder bag I think it just looks nicer and it sit a little bit better to open the bag, you actually have to open the metal closure on the top and you just lift the clasp and the bag opens. Once the bag is open, it can only fully open to this bag. There is a piece of leather here that holds the bag together. So whenever you have things inside, it's not going to fall out from the side. And on the inside, it's actually very delicate and beautiful. It is a full leather lining. So that is something different than the other Louis Vuitton bags where you're going to get canvas lining or micro curl suede lining this is a full leather lining on the back of the lining you have this crisscross effect and the Louis Vuitton logo in there made in France and in the front of the bag you have a little tiny pouch right here I don't think it's very good for use because it's very tight and it's like honestly impossible to put anything in here this particular one is secondhand so you can see that the leather has changed in color it has patinaed beautifully and it is now instead of that you know really raw nude color it is now a golden kind of like crispier yellow color one thing to notice is that you guys can see the leather is getting a little bit dirty and this is because the clasp here keeps rubbing against it and it leaves a dirty mark on the leather you can see on the top handle it does get very wrinkly as you are holding the bag and you can see that this bag actually changed color beautifully on some of the LV bags if you get any ring spots or oil spots on there it's not going to have this even coloring and even if you only 
only hold it at one spot, um, your the oil from your hand is actually going to transfer onto the bag and it will make the coloring uneven. But for this particular bag, it has colored beautifully and it is very even in terms of the coloring. I don't think it's very hard to maintain, you know, the canvas on here. So in general, if you're good at maintaining the leather, I would say that this is a pretty easy to use and easy to maintain bag. Okay, the measurements of this particular bag is 17.5 across and then 16.5 centimeters uh, in terms of the height. And then the depth of the bag is 7.5 centimeters. One of the things that a lot of people are concerned about is how much you can fit into this bag because it is a hard case and you really can't really fit that much because it is very small and the shape of the bag is an irregular shape. So it is harder to fit enough things in here. For me, while I was using the bag, most of the time I would carry a card holder. Card holder fits in here, no problem. Um, the other thing I would generally have is my keys. I would also sometimes carry around a lipstick and lipsticks are tiny. So with your phone, this is the part where it gets tricky and a lot of people are concerned about whether your phone fits. It's really hard to put your phone in here. So I have the iPhone X. This is a smaller one. It's not the big iPhone and I actually have to remove my case every time I'm using this bag in order to fit my phone into here. And the last thing that goes in is my phone and I can close the bag. Now, if I had put my case on my phone, the bag is actually not going to close. After fitting in all that stuff, you still have a bit of room to put more things in, but it's just like small things you can put in, so nothing bigger than an iPhone, and you just have to play around with it to see if the bag can actually carry your daily essentials. Now, for me, my daily essentials are very little. I don't have that many things that I carry around with me, so it actually works out for me. Before I end this video, I do wanna let you guys know that this bag is quite heavy. Because it is part of the luggage collection, it is made heavier than the regular LV bags. And once you have more stuff in it, it gets really heavy. So it is made for those with a strong wrist. Now, if you're comparing this with the softer version, I think the softer version is more usable on a daily basis. It's, it's just that you can put more stuff in. It is much bigger and it is easier to use, easier to open than this one because every time you wanna open it, you have to open the clasp and then kind of pull it open because it magnetically closed like that. So it really depends on your budget, I would say, as well as depend on your lifestyle. If you want a bag like for evening and for days out, then I would suggest this one. And if you have the budget, obviously. Now, if you want something for every day, something more casual, I would definitely suggest the softer version, which is called the Supo, I believe. It's the Supo version and it is the soft version. It's much cheaper and you know, you still get that hat box look but at the same time it's more usable on a daily basis so that is it for today's video if you do like videos similar to this please remember to subscribe to the channel hopefully you guys do like this new series i do want to provide more information give you guys more you know more um like content on this channel so let me know your thoughts and if there's any particular bag that you would like me to try first please leave a comment down below with your top picks so i'll see you guys in the next video bye